Hi, this is Sean with Sean's Outdoor Adventures. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about stringing a Royal X8 recurve bow. And I'm also going to talk a little bit about selecting the right draw weight. So first of all, your string has a large loop on one end and a smaller loop on the other. This would be the larger, this would be the smaller. So you're going to take the larger loop and you're going to put that larger loop over your top limb and slide it down as far as it'll go. Okay, about that far. Then you take the lower or the smaller loop and you put it over the tip of the bottom limb. And then you're going to put your bow stringer on. The way you do that is you take, there's a little boot end for your bow stringer. You slide that over the top limb down past where the end of the string goes. And then you take the other end, there's like a little boot attachment on the other end. You put that over the tip of the bottom limb. And then you're going to hold this in place with your thumb, step on the string, pull up on the bow, and then slide that top string up into the tip of the bow. And then you can remove the bow stringer. And the first thing you want to do is look to make sure that your strings are properly seated in the grooves on the tip of the bow here. So we check both ends. We're looking good there. And if if one, one part of the, the end of the loop of the string was not properly seated, you would want to go back and make sure that it's in there properly. Now, as far as selecting the right draw weight, if you're new to archery, I recommend going on the low end of the draw weight scale because you're going to want to build your muscles up for shooting and you don't want to develop poor form because you're pulling too much weight. So. I would recommend going lower. Now, as you're selecting your draw weight, you're also gonna to need to know your draw length. So my draw length is about 31 inches. This bow that I'm holding is a 40 pound limb, and that 40 pounds is generally calculated at about a 28 inch draw length. The way to calculate your draw length, if you're not familiar, is you measure from the tip of your middle finger on one hand to the tip of the middle finger on your other hand when your arms are out straight and you can have someone help you do that. And you need to divide, divide that number by 2.5. So when I do that, I come out with 31 inches. Now with this 40 pound limb, that is rated at about 28 or 29 inches. With each inch of draw length that you go beyond that, you're gonna pull an additional two or three pounds per inch. So for me, I'm actually holding more like 50 pounds when I shoot this bow. If someone was to shoot at like about a 26 inch draw length, you're gonna be probably down about, you know, this would be about a 34 pound bow. So first calculate your draw length and then look at the draw weight of the bow and if you're below 28 or 29 inches, take a few pounds off. And so if you want to shoot at 40 pounds and you're only a 26 inch draw length, you're actually going to want to probably order the 45 pound limb bow. And so I hope that helps you make the selection for purchasing your bow. And I'm telling you, I'm really enjoying mine. So I hope you'll have the same experience I am. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, take care and God bless.